Tonight at 5, health officials offer some tips for staying safe as air quality issues continue to threaten communities, plus travel chaos ahead of the July 4th holiday weekend. What travelers can expect in a Madison staple celebrates its grand reopening months after much of the building was damaged in a fire. You're watching News 3 now at 5. Air quality advisories continue across Wisconsin today. SSM health officials say they're seeing an increase in patients with respiratory issues seeking some help. Many patients have issues that make them more susceptible, including asthma and COPD. But experts say generally healthy people can also experience some wheezing or shortness of breath, especially if they're outside for an extended period of time. Chances are that you're going to get a lot of this fine particulate matter into your lungs. Um, and it can be really, really harmful um, for everyone. Health officials say the best thing to do is to simply stay inside. But if you do have to go out, they recommend wearing an N95 mask through at least tomorrow. Now, meteorologist Jacob Montesano has more on the air conditions out there. Jacob. Yeah, we do have that air quality alert in effect until noon tomorrow for southern Wisconsin. If we look at the air quality index, we are among the worst in the United States, not just the United States, among the worst in the world as we are under unhealthy to very unhealthy conditions depending on individual locations with some areas seeing very unhealthy and others seeing unhealthy. That is very dangerous for any group. Limit outdoor activities. Uh, sensitive people should remain indoors, preferably at all costs. If you have to walk to your car to go somewhere, that's okay. Just, just just take it easy and uh, the very unhealthy just remain doors if possible altogether. Looking at the future track smoke forecast, it actually is going to get worse throughout the night, but a lot better by tomorrow afternoon, especially by the evening hours. But tomorrow morning, we're still going to see that wildfire smoke as the air quality alert will expire at noon. Now looking at Doppler track, we are going to see some showers and possibly some storms tonight, and it will really cause that's what will really cause the smoke to move out of the area. And looking at the SPC outlook, there actually is a marginal risk for severe weather, although my guess is we probably aren't going to see a widespread severe weather outlook outbreak with there only being a very small chance at seeing those severe storms. Temperatures are in the lower 80s, upper 70s. They're going to continue to warm up as we head towards the end of the week. I'll have more details on that and give you uh, the forecast on another track of rain potentially tomorrow afternoon, all coming up a little bit later in the show. Jacob, thank you. As we continue to see the hazy skies from the Canadian wildfires, our Tahlil Mohadeen shows us how some Wisconsinites are handling the air quality. Tahlil? The air quality index in Madison is at a very unhealthy level, the worst in more than a decade. That's because Wisconsin is getting some of the worst of Canada's wildfire spoke. Healthy air quality index ranges from 0 to 12, and in Madison, the index today has stayed around 230. This level can affect the health of an entire population. Some Madisonians said that they feel fine, while others have taken extra precautions. It was pretty obvious just to see how bad the air was, um, but it wasn't until I actually felt the impact of it from um, yesterday that decided to wear the mask today. Public health officials recommend you wear masks, stay inside, and cut back on outdoor activity regardless of health. Public Health Madison and Dane County has set up four respite centers with masks around Madison area as well. And for continuing coverage on the air quality and respite centers, we have more information on channel3000.com. Talio, thank you. The Madison School District canceled all summer programming today because of the air quality. The school district will also be closed. That means there's no in-person or virtual summer semester classes, athletic programs and practices, or even the MSCR programs. The district says it will continue to monitor air quality and weather conditions. And a quick reminder, concerts on the square has been postponed also due to the air quality issues. The first show will be tomorrow night beginning at 7 o'clock instead. And several other outdoor events have been canceled or postponed because of air issues. The Noel Gallagher and Garbage Concert scheduled for Bree Stevens Field has been canceled. Ticket holders should look for an email about refunds. And the Madison Mallard game has also been rescheduled to July 17th. And several outdoor pools are closed today. For a full list of all the cancellations, download our Channel 3000 News 3 Now app or head to channel3000.com. Just ahead of the holiday weekend, hundreds of flights have been canceled all across the country. Our Catherine Merck joins us live now at Dane County Regional Airport to explain the issue, which might not be caused by what you might think. Catherine? Eric, many people have been sharing their horror stories of travel today, and some of them are in line right now at the United Check-In here. They tell me their flights have been delayed or canceled and are trying to figure out where to go next, and that's created a lot of different emotions for them. It 
has been a day and a half, let me tell you. I mean Jennifer Grabrowski is feeling hazy about the future of her flights for the 4th after hers was canceled. Many Americans are in her position. Just a lot of people showing up, not really knowing what to do. I mean, there weren't a lot of options. This confusion is not because of the weather conditions most people are thinking about this week. It hasn't been smoke related from what we've seen. It has been storm cells, uh, big thunderstorms, uh, some out east, some, you know, south of us, Chicago area. The storms are just one factor as staffing shortages add to the clouded chaos. When one plane or one flight is disrupted, generally every flight thereafter for that plane is disrupted because there just isn't a lot of slack in the system. Data from FlightAware showed that on Tuesday afternoon, more than 5,400 flights within, into, or out of the U.S were delayed and more than 1,600 were canceled. That's a major decrease from Monday when more than 11,000 flights were either delayed or canceled. This could continue to be a problem as the holiday weekend approaches and more travelers plan to take off. We are anticipating a busy you know, 4th of July weekend coming up. Luckily, Jennifer has some clarity for her trip. It just took a lot of shuffling around. Now we're driving to Milwaukee to get out of here, to get to Denver. She hopes the haze she's experiencing doesn't impact too many others ahead of the holiday. It's been a lot of stress. <laughs> The airport spokesperson is encouraging people here at the Dane County Regional Airport to continue to work with their airline to make sure they get where they need to go ahead of the holiday. Reporting live in Madison, I'm Catherine Merck, News 3 Now. Madison Landmark back open for business after months of rebuilding. The downtown nitty gritty on North Francis Street hosted a grand reopening this afternoon. The restaurant known as the city's self-proclaimed official birthday bar was forced to close last November after a fire, but now the restoration is finally complete. Some people think we burned down. I still get that question like, oh, weird, you, the place burned to the ground. No, we're back open and running. Come celebrate your birthday with us. Come for a sports event. But yeah, we're, we're back. The restaurant invited firefighters and tradespeople who worked on the restoration to help owners and staff celebrate the completion of the project. At the Capitol this afternoon, the state Senate is taking its final votes on the state budget. Political reporter Will Keneally now is live there with the very latest. Will? So Eric, at the Capitol today, we are crossing the T's, dotting the I's on the state budget after the legislature's joint finance committee spent the better part of the last couple of months doing a lot, the lion's share of the drafting. So what we're seeing tonight is many of the Democrats looking to put things back into the budget that Republicans had taken out. Things like child care, for example. And we're about halfway through those Democratic proposals, all of which are doomed to fail in the GOP-controlled chamber. But the next stop for the budget is the governor's desk, where he can issue line item vetoes. The budget being put forth today by the Republicans is filled with squandered opportunities, and I'm hopeful that Governor Evers will consider using his veto pen um, really uh, thoroughly uh, in order to make sure that we have the best opportunity possible for people in Wisconsin. The Senate Democratic leader there, the governor can't add anything back into the budget, only take out Republican proposals. And again, Democrats will continue to offer their own proposals throughout the night. Now, we haven't heard from Republicans yet tonight, but we have seen on deck a Republican authored amendment. Uh, so we're expecting to hear from them speaking to that amendment. We'll have more on what that amendment contains and just give you a broad sense of what to expect for the debate tonight uh, coming up tonight at six. Reporting right. from the Capitol, Will Keneally, News 3 Now. All right, Will, thank you. A new Marquette University Law School poll of Wisconsin voters finds 57% approve of the job Tony Evers is doing as governor, 39% disapprove. In October of last year, 46% approved, 47% disapproved. Despite the governor's approval, though, 57% think the state is on the wrong track. 40% say it's headed in the right direction, a minimal change from the October survey. This is something we've seen in national polling of right direction, wrong track as well. I... Last year, said the electorate is grumpy. They're still pretty grumpy. Well, this is the first poll that the Marquette Law School has conducted since slightly changing the way it polls people. This time around, it incorporated calling cell phones for the very first time. Former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley campaigned in New Hampshire today, a day after former President Donald Trump and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis visited the state. New Hampshire will host the first Republican presidential primary there. Trump remains the GOP frontrunner in New Hampshire, followed by DeSantis. 
the only other candidate currently polling in double digits. President Biden delivering an address on the economy today. His remarks come as several economic indicators seem to point in a positive direction, but continued high inflation and job cuts in tech and finance could spell some trouble down the line. Mike Valerio has the latest. President Joe Biden in Chicago Wednesday touting his vision for growing the economy. Bidenomics is about building an economy from the middle out and the bottom up, not the top down. And the strength of the post-pandemic recovery highlighting the strong jobs market and falling inflation. We created 13.4 million new jobs. More jobs in two years than any president has ever made in four. While acknowledging people are still struggling. I'm not here to declare victory on the economy. I'm here to say we have a plan that's turning things around incredibly quickly. Well, we have more work to do. The president's optimistic outlook, however, is not necessarily in line with how Americans feel. There is essentially something in this economy for everyone, and that can inform a lot of arguments that may be diametrically opposed to one another. A May CNN poll revealing 66% of Americans disapprove of the president's handling of the economy as financial indicators continue to send mixed messages. On the one hand, for example, you have a high level of job cuts and layoffs. On the other hand, you still have a close to historically low unemployment rate. Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell signaling Wednesday more rate hikes lie ahead. What you see is stronger than expected growth, uh, a tighter than expected labor market, and higher than expected inflation. So that tells us that although policy is restrictive, it's not, it may not be restrictive enough. More aggressive action from the Fed could still lead to a recession. What form it will take remains unclear. I'm Mike Valerio reporting. Still to come at 5, Jacob has the latest on local air quality issues, plus new developments in the investigation of a catastrophic implosion near the Titanic wreckage that left five people dead. And tonight at 6, how a new proposal would guarantee admission to UW schools for in-state high school students who rank them in the top 5% in their class. And on Wall Street, mixed numbers in midweek trading, the Dow tumbling 74, the Nasdaq jumps 36, the S&P down a point and a half. We'll be right back. Stars and Stripes event starts now at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Save store-wide with massive savings on special purchases and closeouts at up to 84% off. GE washer and dryer pairs for just $18 a month. Ends July 4th at Furniture and Appliance Mart inside Ashley. Attention, Wisconsin veterans. I'm Tony Evers, the governor of Wisconsin. If you are a veteran struggling to pay for rent, utilities, or other life-sustaining services, I want you to know that the Veterans Rental Assistance Program is here to help. So call 833-WISVRAP or visit VRAPWI.com. You've always been there for us. We want you to know that we're here for you. Get over 50% off on this sofa chaise right now at the 4th of July blowout at Slumberland Furniture. Everything's on sale. Incredible deals. Up to 60% off list throughout the store and up to 70% off on clearance items. What a sale. The 4th of July blowout at Slumberland Furniture. Trust your feet to Morgan's Shoes. Birkenstock ushers in a new collection with clean lines, easier than ever closures, and the most necessary footbed in your closet. Slide into Morgan's Shoes and shop our new Birkenstock arrivals. See what's fresh for spring and summer. Birkenstock platforms and wedges, cork-powered sneakers, or up your game with our iconic men's and women's sandals. Comfort with style. Trust your feet to Morgan's Shoes. Morgan Shoes, Hildale. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2023. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Mosquito Joe of Madison for Best Pest Control. Vote for Mosquito Joe and all your favorites on MadisonMagazine.com. News 3 Now is always on. Download the Channel 3000 app and we will send you local breaking news as it happens. The Channel 3000 app. Get it now. Powered by News 3 Now. The Stars and Stripes event starts now at Ashley. Save store-wide with massive savings on special purchases and closeouts at up to 84% off. Plus six-year special financing with no money down. It all ends on July 4th, only at Ashley. 
The threat of storms tonight will improve the air quality substantially for tomorrow. I'll have more details at 6. And we find out how residents are handling the poor air conditions. They tell us how the smoke has impacted their daily activities. That's tonight at 6. Celebrating 40 years of concerts on the square. Join us on Thursday as we discover how this iconic event helped shape the spirit of Madison and made it an integral part of our community. 40 years, no rests. Thursday on News 3 Now at 6. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. New today, more debris from the loss of merciful Titan has been returned to land after that fatal implosion during its voyage to the wreck of the Titanic last week. That debris was located about 12,000 feet deep, roughly 1,600 feet from the Titanic site by a remotely operated vehicle. Investigators say it's a key piece of the investigation into exactly what happened. All five passengers on the vessel were killed. The debris will be turned over to U.S. and Canadian investigators who are trying to figure out what caused that implosion. Turning to the war in Ukraine, Russia has renewed deadly missile strikes just days after ending a military rebellion. At least 10 people, including children, were killed when a missile hit a busy restaurant in eastern Ukraine last night. Dozens of people were hurt. The city sits about 20 miles from the front lines and has come into the crosshairs before. Many of the victims of Russia's missile attacks are civilians. The Kremlin tried to project power and control at a military ceremony in Moscow yesterday. President Vladimir Putin thanked Russian troops for preventing a civil war. Ukrainian officials watched the mutiny closely with one close advisor to President Volodymyr Zelensky saying today that the countdown has begun to the end of Vladimir Putin. The Justice Department has taken action against dozens of people for defrauding Medicare and Medicaid. The effort resulted in federal and state charges against dozens, including doctors, nurses, and other medical professionals. The scheme spanned 16 states and resulted in $2.5 billion in alleged fraud. Officials say much of the fraud targeted the elderly, people with mental health issues, and people addicted to opioids. One case accuses doctors of plotting with telemarketers to get kickbacks for pushing unnecessary medical equipment. Another scheme allegedly involved buying HIV medications from patients, then repackaging them to sell to pharmacies. Prosecutors say in some instances the wrong medications, broken pills, even pebbles, were sold. Medical organizations are releasing updated recommendations to prevent the transmission and infection of MRSA. That's a type of bacteria that can cause difficult to treat infections. It's also resistant to some antibiotics. MRSA can spread from healthcare workers' hands, contaminated surfaces, and equipment in hospitals. Infections skyrocketed during the pandemic, rising by as much as 41% after declining for years. The recommendations stress improving how antibiotics are prescribed and used, surveillance to detect MRSA carriers who don't have any symptoms, and basic prevention like cleaning and disinfecting. Hazy conditions continue through tomorrow. Jacob Matasano now with the very latest. Jacob? Yeah, the good news is that although it will be hazy, especially during the morning tomorrow, it will be a big improvement by the evening hours. We also are going to remain warm really for the foreseeable future. The rest of this week and next week, highs will be in the 80s, if not lower 90s. And we also are going to see some thunderstorms tonight and tomorrow afternoon with a few more threats of rain Friday and Saturday as well. Right now, Doppler track is showing very dry conditions across southern Wisconsin, but if we look at future track, we're going to see some storms form in the central and northern portion of the state, but as they move south, they are going to dissipate, and although this forecast shows a lot of rainfall possibly tonight, other models are suggesting that rain may dissipate before it makes its way into Madison and Janesville. In general, though, it will happen during the overnight hours with a small chance of severe weather, but not an extreme chance. As we look at the uh, forecast for tomorrow afternoon, we are going to see some more storms fire up, but it does appear that the bulk of them will be to the south and east of Madison. The heaviest rain tomorrow will be south of all of Wisconsin across portions of Illinois. And then looking at Friday, we do have some more threats of a rainfall, more scattered showers and storms, although these storms aren't expected to be severe. They are also going to to possibly continue throughout a good portion of the day with rain being on and off. But unfortunately, each day is going to be a hit or miss with possibly seeing some heavy rain over a short period of time if the thunderstorm forms over a specific location. But other other times and other locations may not see any rainfall during these days. Now, as far as the precipitation, this goes all the way through next Wednesday. After a small chance Saturday, we are going to be dry until the middle and end of next week. But it does appear that the heaviest rain will be both to the north and south of our area with southern Wisconsin only 
seeing a little bit of rainfall. Definitely not enough to counter the drought that we've been seeing over the last two months or so. So we're not going to see as much rain as we likely have hoped for. But the good news is that that wildfire smoke will move out of the area and the big part of that will be because of the winds. It's going to be pretty gusty at points tonight, but then they are, they are going to calm down tomorrow and then the winds will be out of the northwest preventing that wildfire smoke from moving back into our area. But we could see some more smoke over the next week or so, but it's not going to be as bad as today. Lows tonight will be in the 60s, tomorrow upper 80s, possibly even 90s at times. And then as we get into Friday, temperatures are going to be very similar with the chance of storms. Once again, highs will be in the upper 80s. Very warm weather over the next week or so with temperatures continuously being in the 80s, possibly even lower 90s at times. We do have more chances of rain towards the middle and end of next week. Hopefully this chance of rain will be a bit more widespread. As far as your first warned traffic goes, there is an issue on the Beltline causing a slowdown in both directions. It actually just appears that it cleared out. It was right around here, right near Monona, and it does appear that it has cleared out a bit, so it will probably progressively get better over the next few hours, but still pretty slow in both directions. But the highway is looking good, oh, uh, 70 miles per hour roughly in both directions to Janesville and also north to Wisconsin Dells. So a bit of a slowdown on the Beltline, but it will get in, uh, will improve over the next few hours, and that's your first warrant traffic. Back to you, Eric. Jacob, thank you. The iconic white ceremonial dress that Car uh, Carrie Fisher wore as Princess Leia in the original Star Wars film is on the auction block. The dress, which a movie crew member rescued but just left in his attic for decades, is among 1,400 original props and costumes from film and television shows up for grabs. The gown is expected to fetch as much as $2 million. When Star Wars fans see this dress, they just respond to it. Their eyes light up. You know, they immediately recognize it. They remember the scene. They remember the throne room at the end of the film. They remember the fantastic John Williams score, and it transports them back there. And that's what collecting this material is all about. Took 10 months to restore the costume. Bidding starts at $500,000. Other items being sold include the evil clown doll from the 1982 horror film Poltergeist and the Bat Pod vehicle Christian Bale drove in The Dark Knight Rises. Film buffs can bid or watch the live auction online at PropStore.com. The class of 2024 for the Hollywood Walk of Fame has been unveiled. Among the group will be the late Chadwick Boseman. Other stars like Gail Gadot, Chris Pine, Gwen Stefani, and Dr. Dre will also be honored next year. The Walk of Fame Selection Committee is made up from fellow Walk of Famers who handpick a group honorees from across the entertainment world each year. Next at 5, how a North Dakota boy is hoping to inspire other kids this summer. His story after the break. News 3 Now, first warm weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Save on your automotive needs with 11% off at Menards. Turtle Wax Max Power Car Wash provides maximum strength cleaning. The more wash you use, the stronger the cleaning power becomes. It's just $5.99 after rebate. Get superior engine protection with Valvoline Advanced Full Synthetic Motor Oil. It promotes fuel efficiency and excellent engine cleanliness. Pick up a 5-quart jug for $22.99 after 11% rebate at Menards. Save big money at Menards. This right here is confidence in a bottle. Not only does it change you on the outside, but something in the inside, knowing that you're looking better. It makes me feel so much more confident than I've ever felt in my life. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Well, today we're going to see one for ourselves and let you be the judge. It's called Plexiderm, and lifestyle expert Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says... This one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. We even have a video, and you'll notice the model has bags underneath his eyes and some sagging, and all he uses is a small amount on a clean, dry face, and that's how easy it is. All right, what's the active ingredient? Okay, so it's silicates that are minerals found in shale rock, and what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes in as little as 10 minutes, no prescriptions, and very little effort. Even watching the video, this is a real, uh, it's a model, but it's a real guy with real bags underneath his eyes. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. 
feels great, looks even better. And I did this to my father, we were at home. So we applied it to his under eye bags and let me tell you, we were so excited. In under 10 minutes, they visibly disappeared from view and now it is literally part of both of our daily routines. He calls me every single month saying, hey Annette, I'm out of Plexiderm, please send me more. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. The way you wanna do it is you wanna have a clean, dry face, you use a small amount because it's so powerful. You have high school reunions, you have events you wanna go to, you wanna look years younger, this is it. This July 4th is the best time to try Plexiderm at our startup price of only $14.95. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. This is how legends are. 2024 Chevy Silverado HD with Duramax Diesel. And the Chevy Silverado with powerful Turbomax engine. No matter what route you take, there's a Chevy truck to get you there. Find new roads. Get 1.9% financing on all 2023 Silverado 1500 LT Turbomax pickups. Or current Chevy owners get a 5750 total cash allowance when you trade in an eligible vehicle. See your Badgerland Chevy dealer today. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. Welcome back. A boy in North Dakota is hoping to inspire other kids to do what he's doing, finding a passion for hard work. Alex Larson shares his story. So then after we're done with the, along here, we're going to move down there. 12-year-old Alex sees a lot of green, and not just in the lawns he cares for. Most definitely, I call myself a businessman. <laughs> Alex started Alex's Mowing Company. And I decided that I just wanted to do it, and I did it. And the grass is always greener when you can work with your best friends, who double as employees. Just said, do you want to join my mowing company? I said, yeah, sure. Gary knows money doesn't grow on trees or in the weeds they pick. I'll start, get that later. But he has an idea of what he wants to spend his hard-earned cash on. I don't remember the type of car anymore. It's a type of Mustang, I could say that. Thank you. The busy schedule has not gotten in the way of their friendship. Has he been a tough boss? No. I'd say I've been a pretty good boss. <laughs> the challenging part... Of finding customers to do this for. But Alex was ready to find a solution. So I just thought I'd make a whole bunch of flyers and pass them out. So that's what I did. And a little help from some special friends, his parents. They helped me start my own uh, business page. And like that, they made a few posts for me. But bam, I had a first customer. So it works like that. Facebook, that's where Alex says he heard. A whole bunch of like, vid like comments of people saying, kids don't work hard these days. But he says that's not the case here. Does that make you feel pretty good to hear that you're working hard and like proving those people wrong? And I'm like, oh, yeah, it is. It does make me feel really good. And he's hoping other kids join in on his mission. There is kids that do work and that do do the things that people don't expect them to do. As for the future of Alex's mowing company. Just getting more expansion. Well, the final check of your first worn forecast after a short break. This fourth, we're throwing a four for the fourth celebration with four of my best-selling playgroup sectionals, like my stylish playbook, highly rated playscape, buttery soft playroom, and my four-piece playground. Join the four for the fourth celebration at Bob's. It's gonna be lit. Right, a chip. <clears throat> Just taking a break. That window's a bear. Don't worry, my cousin's got a guy. <laughs> hey, I'm not sure I can help you with the house guest, but I can help you replace this window fast. Let the experts at Feldco kickstart your summer with two for one windows and no interest until 2025. Plus, we'll get it done with Feldco fast. Two for one windows ends Friday. Hurry, call now. Call 866 for Feldco. At Honda, we offer complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Just enjoy the ride, knowing we cover routine items like oil changes, tire rotations, and multi-point inspections. Honda Service Pass, available to purchasers of all 2023 Honda vehicles. Get yours today. 
Hi, my name's AJ Tackett with Third Day Farms, and this is my John Deere. So we farm corn and soybeans. It's a family operation. When I hear Sloan's, I think of the, the people. I mean, like I said, everybody here has been over backwards for us. They have multiple stores, so if they don't have a part, the turnaround on getting parts or getting what you need is, is super fast. From parts to service to sales, uh, they go out of their way to, to help you out. And this is why I think Sloan's first. Brothers Maine enjoys 4th of July festivities with family, friends, and fabulous kitchen and laundry deals. Our fireworks of savings on GE appliances and free delivery will make you ooh and ah. Feel like family at Brothers Maine. What do we always say, son? Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance. They only pay for what you need. That's my boy. Stay off the freeways. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Attention, Wisconsin veterans. I'm Tony Evers, the governor of Wisconsin. If you are a veteran struggling to pay for rent, utilities, or other life-sustaining services, I want you to know that the Veterans Rental Assistance Program is here to help. So call 833-WISVRAP or visit VRAPWI.com. You've always been there for us. We want you to know that we're here for you. This 4th, we're throwing a 4 for the 4th celebration with four power reclined sofas, only $7.99 each. Like my two-tone Sonoma, my buttery soft Trevor, my classic Forte, and my sleek and stylish Rogue. Join the 4 for the 4th celebration at Bob's. It's going to be lit. We've got a lot of news coming up. An alarming shortage of life-saving cancer drugs impacting more than half a million Americans in need of chemotherapy treatments. Tonight, how one woman is coping amid this health care crisis. That's tonight on the CBS Evening News. Jacob's back. Final check of the forecast. Your native Chicago, I saw yesterday, yeah. worst air quality in the world. Yeah, yesterday. unfortunately, in Madison, isn't much better right. than what it was in Chicago yesterday. The good news is that it will get better for tomorrow evening, but it actually is going to get worse briefly for tonight. But then finally, by the afternoon evening, we will see a good amount of that smoke clear out the area with still some light smoke, but it's only going to be at a moderate level tomorrow. As far as the forecast, upper 80s will be the temperatures, some chances of storms, especially tonight and tomorrow afternoon and then we do have some smaller threats Friday and Saturday next week it's gonna be even warmer possible 90s Tuesday with some storms by the middle and end of the week all right Jacob thanks CBS evening news coming away next and we're back in 30 minutes for news three now at six stay tuned